Nick Cannon is claiming to have teamed up with Kevin Hart to host a bizarre new reality show on E! called Who's Having My Baby, where female contestants will compete to have his next child. It is not yet clear if it's all part of a practical joke, but the 42-year-old host, who has a staggering 12 children by six women, teased a trailer for the mysterious series. A trailer dropped Tuesday showing Kevin working as the master of ceremonies on what he, described as the mother of all game shows. Kevin introduced a string of competitors who paraded cheerfully onto the stage as Nick sat grinning on a sofa nearby. A few of the women could be seen giggling as Nick played, eeny meeny mini mo, between them, before Kevin trumpeted, let's go. Nick posted the trailer to Twitter and wrote, We're expecting, a new show on E! Hashtag Who's Having My Baby premieres this spring on at E! Entertainment, the eyebrow-raising tweet comes less than three months after Nick became a father of 12 with the birth of his daughter Halo Marie on December 14. Halo's mot there is model Alyssa Scott, one of the six women who have had so far had children with Nick, including his ex-wife Mariah Carey with whom he shares a pair of 11-year-old twins called Monroe and Moroccan. In November Nick welcomed his 11th child, a daughter called Zeppelin, with Abby De La Rosa, who also has one-year-old twins with him called Zion and Zillion. In September Nick had Baby No. 10, a son called Rise Messiah Cannon, by Brittany Bell, with whom he also shares son Golden, 6, and daughter Powerful Queen, 2. Less than two weeks before Rise was born, the Price is Right alum Lanisha Cole gave birth to Nick's ninth child, a daughter called Onyx. This past July Nick's girlfriend Brie Tisi delivered her firstborn, a son called Legendary, who by then was Nick's eighth child. After the dashing funny man's tenth child was born, an Us Weekly source dished, Mariah doesn't keep up with Nick's babies and baby mamas. There's too many to keep up with. She's happy for him and wishes him the best. In June of 2021, Nick welcomed a baby boy called Zen with Alyssa Scott, whom he had met years earlier on his show Wild N Out. However Zen suffered health problems including a brain tumor and tragically died at just five months old after spending his last moments by the sea with his parents. Nick revealed last summer that he became so depressed with the loss of my son that his plans to be celibate for the last few months of 2021 went by the wayside. In December, everyone saw I was so down, everybody's like, I am just going to give him a little vagina, that's going to cure it all, he said on the Lip Service podcast. A few months ago Nick publicly confessed his regret that he is not able to give all his children enough quality time with their father. Being a father of multiple kids, it's always the biggest guilt on me is that I don't get to spend enough time with all my children, he said according to page 6. He explained on the checkup with Dr. David Agus that the root of his predicament was, one cause I'm constantly working and two because I'm just spread thin. Last month however he told Entertainment Tonight that only God decides when he will stop having children. You know what, when I am 85, you never know.